Okay, guys, so what I want to talk about today is something that I've heard in the past, and it really, I, I find it to be an insult um, to me and to my religious ancestors, the ancient Greeks. And so, therefore, it is quite offensive. And what I'm talking about is the assertion that you've probably heard as well, which is the claim that the ancient Greeks willingly converted to Christianity by and large. I've even heard it said that, uh, you know, they the polytheists threw off their old religion and accepted the new and when so let's talk about the ancient Greeks what we're led to believe is that these people who had spent centuries and centuries of devoting their lives and country to their gods establishing forms of worship literature philosophy belief systems people who had spent all this time dedicating their very existence to their gods and at the drop of a hat just like that Someone came along and said, you should worship Jesus. And the Greeks said, oh, yes, of course, you're right. I certainly understand the romanticism behind that for people who honestly want to believe it with all of the emotion in their heart, but it's simply not true. And those of us who use history and common sense know that it's not true. And for this video, I'm going to use a section from Greek religion by Walter Burkert. He is a scholar on the ancient Greek religion, or was a scholar, I should say, because unfortunately he has passed away. But on page 246, he talks about um, the conversion process of Greece from the old religion to Christianity. And he talks about the criticisms that the Christians put against the old gods and the old religion. And he goes on to say, People did continue to pray to these gods. Greek religion was practiced for 800 years after Xanathanes and disappeared only at the end of the ancient world under massive state pressure. Quite clearly, that criticism had touched only the surface, not the roots. End quote. So, let me say that again. The ancient Greek religion disappeared under massive state pressure and the criticism did not touch the roots. Where do the roots lie? The roots lie with the people. So the Christian takeover worked its way into the government, and from there they were able to use all powers of government, military and money, to try to eradicate the old Greek religion. Because the ancient Greeks, by and large, didn't buy the criticism. They didn't buy the arguments that were made against the old religion. And so the religion had to be rooted out by force. I mean, we know that temples were closed, people were murdered, and the old religion was outlawed. Those are facts. So all you have to do here is use common sense. The Greeks willingly converted, so they had to outlaw the old religion. They willingly converted, so the state had to forcibly close their temples because they weren't closing them themselves. They were willingly converted, so they had to be killed. Use your common sense, and you'll find that the Greeks gave up their old gods by force, not by choice.